Welcome back to this Final Fantasy XIV Let's Play. You with Zuljin? We're hanging out with uh, these two jokers right here. One's doing push-ups, one eating fish. I just thought it was kind of cool how neat this scene was. Like, it's insignificant as far as questing goes and stuff. Um, but it just adds so much to what we see, you know? It's just a little, just a little setup they got going here. <laughs> very, very, very cool. Anyway, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And thank you all so much for all the awesome support on the series, guys. Let's get started and play some Final Fantasy XIV today. So anyway, last time we left off, we had quite a bit of questing that was done. And um, I, I actually passed just by um, the little camp and there was a little quester, well, uh, a little quest icon for... Uh, some slices of fatty Orberon to deliver to that um, that coffin place that we're going to. So I figured when I saw the Orberon right here, I'd check the Hunter's Guide and they weren't there. But uh, there's definitely some things I can do. So let's go ahead and kill a couple of these. They're pretty cool. Nothing real major or whatever, but they do look really neat. They have a lot of teeth. <laughs> like a lot of teeth. Basically some little fish. And they do a couple special moves. But nothing real major. All right, and I think we need yeah, we need two more. Oh, I didn't do my, my stuff correctly. Tell you what, let's add a little bit of defense and power here. Get this over with just a little bit faster. And then we'll head on to our destination. Is that it? Yep. And a little bit of time left for buffs. One more hit. There we go. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, these guys are pretty easy. It makes me think that we can take one of those tortoises or whatever, but none of these are in our hunting guide, actually. All right. We got all the fatty slices of uh, Orberons. Um, in our hunter's guide, actually, the only things that I have left, I haven't really seen. Antling workers, um, Spriggan grave robbers, Quildaren shell sweepers. Antling soldiers and dusty mongrels. I suppose that that's going to be at some different locations. Is that? Oh, that's a uh, that's an NPC. All right. I was about to say, what in the world? All right. <laughs> so we can head on over to. I guess we could just cut across the water right here. That'll probably be the easiest thing. Black brush. I think I remember uh, faintly. I remember this. Oh, they got some. Oh, there's antling workers. Well, there's plenty of those. Okay, we'll definitely uh, we'll definitely g kill some of those. But first, I want to get closer to our destination while we still have some sprint left. Whoa, what is he fighting over there? Gunger and Wet Nose? Oh, this is a fate. Okay, Kakaid couldn't even deny the entry of the coffin. And coffin have not taken the news well, and it's causing trouble for the heavy who have hired to keep characters like these from causing trouble. Lend the poor lad a hand in helping the beast man sober up. So we have to just hurt this guy? Yeah, we might as well. I have never done a fate. Well, not successfully at least. Hopefully he doesn't hit too hard. It looks like there's a mage. Oh, snap. What is he doing? It looks like he's, uh... He's tanking the brunt of it. Frederica. <laughs> it's not a him at all. I'll try to lend my assistance here. I told you never to come back, you said. <laughs> Coffer and Calvin Heavy. Frederica's the only one fighting besides me. I'm trying to help you, Frederica. I can't. <laughs> what he said? In, in, in. I can't, I can't pull him. I can't take the aggro from you. I don't know if Coffer and Coffin Heavy is doing much. We must be around the right place, though. Well, sheesh. How's she doing? She's not that bad. Uh-oh. Get out of the way! Frederica! No! I think she just hit her pretty hard. Have you? Ah, you're focusing me now. Yeah, let's do it, big boy. Let me do my job. I'm a tank. That's what I was born to do. 
<laughs> Sign off, shite breath. Is that what he said? <laughs> there you go. Now the mage can concentrate on doing DPS. This is the way it should be, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And I almost have my uh, my offensive power back, too. Well, I can't wait to get, like, a couple more skills. Oh, no, you don't. We know better than that. All right. Fight or flight. He's almost down. I wonder how much XP we're going to get for this. We did quite a bit of damage to him. She did more, I think, though. Nice. Oh, 1120 XP. Wrecked rats. What? Once a fate is complete, a window detailing your reward will be displayed, rewarded, or disturbed to all events and practices. Frederica just bowed to me. Bye, Frederica. Well, I'm a wave. Bye. <laughs> uh, rewards are distributed to all event participants and are based not only on success, but on individual contributions. Uh, the more active you are in completing the event, the greater your contribution will be deemed. Con contribution is indicated via the gold, silver, or bronze medal that appears in the reward window. So which one did we get? Um, I don't know which one it showed. <laughs> I should have looked more at that. I was too worried about reading the description. Okay, there's some antling workers. We need these. I think we need these, right? I know we have some sort of antlings. Yes. Yep, these are next up. All right, may as well. Yeah, the oh, that giant tortoise is level 17. The ones closer to town, I think we're only like level 12, I want to say. Okay, the antlings aren't that bad at all, it appears. They crackle like insects. Almost like a roach when you step on them. Not that I condone violence or anything, but... Oh no, y'all. Roaches are pretty bad. Pretty bad. Uh-uh. I don't know what you're doing, but acid spray. Yeah, that looked like it would have sucked. It looked like it would have sucked. Trap jaws. All right, let's get a little bit more power here, shall we? Not bad at all. Are we gonna get a little bit of XP for our hunting log entry? 980, dude. Leveling is so streamlined in this game. I mean, I imagine it gets a lot more difficult. <laughs> but like in the beginning, things just seem to flow. It's an aetherite that we're going to have to get attuned. But we are, I think we're right around our, okay. oh, they got some armorers and stuff. We can do some shopping while we're here. Let's attune. Oh, teleport. Very good, so we can teleport home when we need to. By learning the spell Teleport, you are now able to travel instantly between Aetherites to which you are attuned. Access the teleportation menu by selecting the Teleport under Travel from the main menu. Very good. Oh, I should have read the, the, the other stuff. Okay, uh, this dude looks cool. Wow, he's in like full gear, man. The heart of the party. Benson, Benson Lightbinger. Very, very cool looking guy. The armor and, and fashion in the game are pretty cool, man. I'm looking forward to getting some, some awesome stuff here. All right, where exactly is our quest? Our quest is to the southwest of here, but there's a mail icon I'm noticing here, and I've been looking uh, to get one of these because I've been having messages. Um, so I don't know what they're from or what they are even. Let's see. Uh, oh, there's the Moogle. Delivery Moogle. Greetings, tall one. I'm a delivery Mugo Koopo. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Moogles are supposed to hide in trees and avoid contact with outsiders. Why ever would we agree to carry about letters? Why, indeed, if I had my way, I'd be curled up up under the canopy of a nice oak tree dreaming about some beautiful Mooglet with rainbow-colored porn porn. Uh, oh, pom-pom, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm not in the Moogle porn, y'all. But no, the moon had to go and drop off the sky, causing all of the terrible commotion. 
Aetherites were shattered and ink, link pearls rendered useless for moons and poor wingless people of Eorzea had no way of communicating with each other beyond screaming at the top of their lungs, which no one really approved of, Kupo. That is, until one, a horned one asked us to assist them by delivering messages. At first we were wary to show ourselves, worried that one of you might catch and skin us. Like <laughs> you do every other forest furry. But once we saw how much we were appreciated, we knew we'd found our new calling. And personally, promise not to try to read any along the way, Kupo. Look what we have here. Five new letters just arrived for you. Okay, a uh, bunch of thank you for the Final Fantasy. I think this is all rewards. Fantasia, legend states that who drink this mysterious liquid before lying down for the evening will awaken in a new form, man or woman. Oh. So you can change your sex with that? Okay, thank you for playing Final Fantasy and closest to Final Fantasia awarded to all those who purchased the original Final Fantasy 15, uh, 14, I'm sorry, at release. This is an item that grants you a single opportunity to edit your appearance in your character creation menu once you next log in. Please note that it removes all gear Will you begin this process? Okay. Let's check out the next one. Uh, enclosed is a beady eye minion and voidal resonator for summoning an Ariman mount? May he they offer insight into the world beyond our own. What? Beady eye? That feeling that you get sometimes that you are being watched? More often that it's not him. Used to acquire... The beady eye minion. Uh, and what is this? Voidal resonator, a metal tuning fork that, when struck, emits a low tone which opens a temporary rift in the void, allowing your personal airman to and uh, your personal airman only to pass through to this plane. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, take all. I definitely want those minions. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, so let's delete that one. Delete this letter. Um, okay, encloses a black chocobo chick minion and a cascadeer uniform voucher. May the light of an eternal flame deep in your heart. Um, uniform vouchers. And a black chocobo chick. Yeah, let's take it. <laughs> really cool. I guess this is all like vet rewards and stuff. Okay, I need to move this. Yeah, I'll, let, let's check out minions. Okay, because uh, I couldn't delete it for some reason. You have obtained the whistle with which you can summon your very own minion. To learn the call minion action, you must first use the whistle. Once you have used the new item, the int wait the entry will appear in your minion guide found in the character in the main menu. You can either initiate the action from the menu or drag the icon, set it to one of your hotbars and initiate it from there. To send the minion away, simply reselect the summoning icon. Minions can be summoned or dismissed at any time, and the whistle has no recast timer. Once you have learned the summoning action, you will never lose it, and it can be used with all the classes or jobs. You can only summon one minion at a time. While minions do not generate any enmity, neither will they participate in the battle. If you're KO'd, your minion will simply wonder off back to wherever it is until it rests until you call it again. Okay. Um, untradeable items. Yep, we already know about that. Unique items. You have obtained a unique item. This is a special item you can never possess more than one at a time. And the Moogle delivery service can be accessed by speaking by one of the delivery Moogles. Uh, okay. So, delete this letter. Yes. Alright. Uh, unopened. Encloses a wind-up cursor minion and a vial of Fantasia. Okay, wow, we got a cursor and Fantasia. I'm gonna keep this Fantasia dominion. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll check out the other minions before I do that. It's still open, so thank you for returning to Final Fantasy XIV. Encloses a pair of garland goggles awarded to all who purchased the original. I remember these. Um, this, these are magic defenses are pretty good for this, but the defense is a little bit less. Let's take it all anyway. Okay. And delete. Okay. So let's see what we got here, y'all. Um, 
Oh, wait, where is the armory? Inventory, character, ah, uh, armory chest, there we go. And our character sheet, which is character. Um, character is just C. All right, I got to remember that. So, Garland Goggles, 6 minus 2. We get more magic defense, so it's a 2-point deficit for 5, so we get plus 3 overall. Um, this one gives me 1 strength. So, yeah, this one gives me 1 strength, and this one gives me... Increases XP earned by 20% when a level 10... Wait, when level 10 and below. Oh, wow! Um, yes please? That's amazing. Alright, the leather eye patch can stay for a little while. How do I look? Oh, baby. Look the... Look how sexy! <laughs> Alright, what else do we have here? Um, didn't we get a uniform or something like that? Let's see. A uniform voucher. Exchange for one new item. Cascade Flippery. Wait, a uh, Cascadeer Flippery. Guaranteed to help you beat the heat. So you might remain in the kitchen. Unsellable. Market prohibited. Um, Link? I can't use it? Where do I trade it in at? Link? I don't, I don't know. Oh, I'm linking it in, in menus or whatever? Pair of garland goggles. Okay, never mind. Um, alt key hide item details. No, I don't want to do that. I'm not too sure how we use these. Use. Oh, well, it, these don't. I guess you have to give that to somebody. We'll have to look into it. Um, as far as this, use. BDI. You can now summon BDI minion. Okay. And. The black chocobo chick. Let's go ahead and do that one too. Use. Alright. We got a couple things here. And voidal resonator. Um, use. You can now summon the amount. Oh man. I didn't even realize that. Um, okay, let's look into our abilities here. Logs, social, party, duty. Wait, how do you do this again? System, travel, no. Hunting log, no. Key items, journal. Timers, care, mi minion guide and mount guide. Oh, okay. Um, mount. Iron Man. Ooh, this thing looks awesome. The little is known about the void and the creatures which call the extra dimensional realm home. Scholars have discovered that there is a strict hierarchy amongst voids and consistent of 12 distinct tiers. How do you pronounce this, first of all? Aramans? Aramans or Aramans. I think it's Aramans. Aramans are believed to fall into the fifth, making the formidable foes when not enthralled by curses. Movement airborne? They can fly too? Uh, okay. Alright, so we just put that. Can we put that just on our hotbar here? Okay. And what about our other um, minions here? Um, okay. So we got that. We're going to try it out. Don't worry. As far as... What was that? Not logs. Not travel either. Not duty. Character. It's all in the character. Minion guide. Alright. We got two different type of minions. We got the BDI. Uh, that feeling when you get some time. Okay. Do they give you anything besides the look? I think it's just the look of it. Let's check it. Let's check them out though. I'll check both of them out with you guys. Okay. Thank you, Kupo. Um, all right, let's see what we got, y'all. Let's see what we got. Uh, BDI. Hello. <laughs> Look at this little guy. He's funny. All right. And we could just put him back just like that. And the Chocobo chick. Oh. Hey, little Chocobo. <laughs> he's a black Chocobo chick. Oh, he's a cutie. Let me let me zoom in here. 
Look how cute! <laughs> He's so cute, man. Oh gosh, that's awesome. All right, uh, and last but not least, y'all, let's let's check out the mount. Unauthorized to summon mount. Why? Why? Why can't we summon the mount? Um, bound to this realm with powerful magic, never to fade again. Unauthorized to summon mount. <gasps> I wonder if it has to do with like my expansion or something. Like, <laughs> why have to buy Heaven's Word? Were mounts introduced before that? I don't know why. Oh, I'm gonna have to look this up, man. I am definitely gonna have to look it up. Well, let's let's quickly hit this quest, and I'll I'll figure it out by next episode, you guys. I promise. I promise. At least y'all got to see a couple little minions. So let's go to our uh, our next quest here. Over the tracks. I'm excited. <laughs> I got some good stuff, man. Okay, where's our little quest log here? Ah, this must be. Yep, the coffin. What? How's it called? Uh, coffer and coffin. That's it. Coffer and coffin. All right. Wow, wow, Baru. Listen to music. Fish, fish, futile. This is no suitable species, but I shall not surrender. I got some fish for you. Oberon, of course, but wait, how did you know of my Epicurean endeavor? Well, it matters not. The solution you suggest is sensational. Saute with salt and squirt of sun lemon. So simple yet sublime. Fish is costly commodity here in Thanalan. Were it not for your local Largis? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, would have been forced to fork out over a fortune to have bought some here. There, thank you. Um, oh, and we get to choose what we want. Um, potion. Yes, and we leveled up. Okay, what did we get? Flash, instant increases enmity in all nearby enemies. So basically, it's a taunt. That's what I needed earlier. Very, very nice. And we have some more quests that we can get. Let's talk to Roger, huh? Drink for you, laddie. You won't get better ale or spirits for your coin than at me place. I got a pumpkin for you, brother. Plantation pumpkin. What's that? <laughs> we Kiko... <laughs> I still don't know how to... Kiko... <laughs> Kiki Doa asked me to bring this here. Ha! Huh. So even that foul-mouthed drunk knows the meaning of remorse. Reckon this is for the time I carried his drink sodden arse back home. But hells, an honest-to-God's pumpkin for a royal plantations. I can't wait to see what the cooks do with her. The lads here scoff down beastly amounts of meat, and it's starting to tell on their health. It's all good to get more vegetables in their bellies. Assuming I can get the stubborn bastards to try something new. Thanks for the help, laddie. That sounds like me. I love some meat. I like vegetables too, but man, I love, I love, love, love like a good steak or some venison or something. Oh man, and we are pretty much out of time, you guys. There's a couple quests we'll pick up where we left off next time, and I'll find more about the mounts. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, give me some dap on that like button and show you support, and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljan signing off, and we'll see you next time.